Hey guys, Grant from Four Wheeling in New South Wales. It's uh, Saturday morning and I just thought I'd do a real quick video. I want to extend the diff breathers on the Vitara. We do a few river crossings uh, on our trips and a lot of people don't uh, realise or may not be aware but on your diff you have a short section of hose which is a diff breather. What it does is if you're driving your vehicle on long distances and the oil in your diff gets hot, hot gas uh, or hot air expands and it needs to be able to get out somewhere and if they don't have a diff breather on the diff what can happen is when there's a lot of heat in there and a lot of air pressure it can try and force itself out through the seals on your axles and and diff seals etc and obviously that leads to leak so manufacturers have a short section of hose normally mounted on top of the diff um, maybe three four five inches long and it works great for highway driving, but obviously they're not catering to people that are putting their diffs underwater. So if you drive through a decent water crossing, that breather hose is going to be underwater. And if your diff's already hot and you hit cold water, it creates a vacuum. So that air pressure inside the diff, the air is shrinking. So it's going to suck water in through that hose or your seals. So what I want to do is take the standard factory uh, diff breather hose off and I'm going to extend it so I'm going to duck up to super cheap or Repco or somewhere one of the auto parts stores and see what it's worth and grab some now I've pasted out the car's three meters in length but you need the hose to go from the diff the back diff all the way along under your chassis rail and up high in your engine bay if you don't have somewhere in the back of the car to run that higher hose it's okay if you've got a, a tray or you know some sort of canopy you can run it up there but if you've got a station wagon Land Cruiser, Patrol, Vitara. There's limited places where you can run that rear hose. So I've measured it three meters in length. I want to come up roughly a meter or allow a meter extra for up into the engine bay. And the front diff breather hose also I'm going to extend, which wouldn't be more than a meter. So I'm going to grab about six, five or six meters of hose and that way you're better off having too much than too little. And uh, we'll show you how it's done. Cheers guys. So you can see here, I've already put the car up on ramps and got underneath to get to the back one. You can see down here, or hopefully you can see down here, there's hose. I'll probably put something on the screen so you can see it a bit easier than where my hand is. But there's a hose there coming off the top of the diff. And it, as you can see, it's a short section. It goes to a clamp on a suspension mount. And then it's got this little plastic head on it like a one-way valve it's a bit hard to see because it's covered in mud and dirt basically I'm gonna I'm gonna drop that down on <laughs> drop that down on the ground that's what I'm gonna do uh, yeah you can see there it's just standard rubber fuel hose so I'm gonna pull this one off and extend that up inside the housing here there's a mount there's actually a mount here on the top of the suspension arm so I might even put it onto there or on this one here you can either bolt them on you can get brackets made or there's universal diff breather kits on eBay for you know 30 or 40 bucks but considering it's about five to ten bucks worth of hose you know you always got to try and do stuff properly but on a bit of a budget so I'll go and grab some hose and um, yeah show you when we get back okay guys I just got back from a couple of the local auto stores um, I ducked into Repco the young girl there said they don't sell hose like that anymore on a roll I worked at Repco years ago and they used to sell tons of the stuff so I don't know if she didn't know exactly what it was or couldn't be bothered properly checking but either way she said they didn't have it so I went over to super cheap they did sell it, it was about seven or eight bucks a meter for eight mil so it's not overly cheap um, they do a vacuum hose and they also do a fuel line hose now it doesn't have to be fuel injection hose because that's designed for high pressure use and it's a lot dearer as fuel pressure hose um, so that's it there it's just black vacuum hose I ended up going to the hardware and I got a roll as you can see there a roll of just clear vinyl tubing uh, lightweight flexible vinyl tubing used to transfer water air and other fluids corrosion and abrasion resistant that's an eight millimeter by five meters and it was 12 bucks and considering it is only pushing air through it uh, and not actually fluids I don't think it's gonna necessarily be any worse than the, the, the proper stuff from an auto store but it's a lot cheaper so you want to do it properly but you also need to be you know a little bit budget conscious because you know 70 or 80 bucks for hose it's, it's all adds up so that one's obviously formed to a shape it comes off the front diff and then sits in a bracket 
on the suspension mount. I'll spin the camera around and show you, but it's not necessary that it fits that same profile because it's just gonna come up and be mounted somewhere else anyway. So, uh, and that's the back hose, which as you can see, it's maybe six inches long, just straight hose. So um, this vinyl stuff should do it. So I'll spin this around. Put the old trusty selfie stick. We can get right down there. Now I can't get my hand and the camera in at the same time, so I'll put a I'll put a circle on the screen about now, which will indicate where I've taken this front diff hose off. And you can see again, I might have to put a circle on it because it's a bit hard to get to with the camera. But you can see there is a, a mounting bracket down here on the top of the suspension arm. I'll bring it off that point on the diff, probably run it through the same that same mounting point here, and then I'm gonna extend it up. I'll extend it maybe up and use this bracket here, so. That'll be the front one done, and then I'll get underneath and I'll show you the back. Always remember too, guys, with any modification to your vehicle, the most important thing with first and foremost, make sure you eat while you do it. Got the fresh pastry, oh yeah, and a nice hot coffee. That makes any job on your car so much easier and so much more enjoyable. So I've put that hose on now. I'm just going to have a quick bite out of this uh, and I'll spin the camera around and show you what it's like. Cheers. Okay guys, so you can see you can see the hose on the diff down there. Now I'm going to run it under, under across and up and then I'll show you the finished result. That was a good pastry too. Oh bloody yum. Okay guys, so I've got the hose on and I've basically run it around and into the factory bracket that was there and then it just comes up behind the, this wiring uh, loom and up through here, up behind that and I've cable tied it to there so it ain't going anywhere. That's the other good thing that you must always have in your toolbox is a good, good packet of cable ties, they're invaluable those things. So. Uh, I'm gonna jump under the back now, do the back, and then we're done. Hey guys, okay, I'm never one to lay down on the job, but in this case you have to. We're up under the back now. I've already removed the back hose earlier. Now, I'm not sure what it is or the design of it, but the factory hose actually comes off the top of the diff here, off there, and then it goes back up to a plastic mount on top of part of the suspension housing, so I don't know what that's all about. It wouldn't really protect anything, but yeah. That's it there, so I'm gonna get the hose on there, push it down onto that barb, and then I'll either run it up under the back of the car or I'll have to run it along, um, I don't know, through the chassis rails somewhere and up high in the engine bay, so anyway, we'll get into it. Yeah, what I meant to mention too is the, it's sort of catch-22, the, the back diff's a bugger to work on because it is up high up there. If you had the vehicle up on a hoist, I guess it might be a little bit easy because your suspension's gonna drop down maybe out of the way a bit. Um, so this is a this is a bit of a bugger to get to, whereas the front one's a little bit easier to reach, but then you can't get to it from underneath. So I don't know which one's worse, but it's maybe a half hour job to get your hands in and around and, and then run it. So it's well worth doing this modification. I don't know if you can see it there, but all right. So we've shoved that hose down on there. Just put the clamp back down as low as it will go, just to keep it on. So that's pretty much it, it's on now. So you've got a bit of room there to work with. It's actually easier getting the new hose on than it is to get the old one off because the old one was a bit crusted on there. Um, so that one went on, yeah, went on pretty easy actually. Not too bad, so I'm gonna run the rest of the hose up now and see where we go. Cheers guys. Okay, ladies and jelly beans, job complete. You can see I've run the breather hose running it along under the car. Now, I've just picked up any mounting points that I could along the vehicle. Bye. Along here, went above the cross member. Sorry if the footage is a bit shaky, guys, but the car's down off the ramps and it's uh, not overly spacious under here. So I'm doing my best, but you can see there the clear cord going all the way along under the cross member. And it goes up, I'll move up a bit. So, yeah, you can see there above the cross member. And it goes up 
I've basically zip tied it onto the power cord that goes back from the main starter battery back to my tow bar which is the cable that we use to charge our camper trailer while we're driving. So I've just picked up that wire and used that as a mounting point. It pays you to check under your vehicle every now and then. I've just noticed that the heat shrink, the black heat shrink uh, cover that I've put over the cable where it passes up uh, right next to the exhaust, it's actually been getting a little bit hot and that black on duty plastic stuff's become a bit brittle and it's sort of half melted in a couple of spots so i might actually go to the auto store and grab some of that uh, wrap that you can put on your exhaust pipe to wrap around it so yeah i'm going to cut the zip ties off and then job complete so here we are under the bonnet now on the passenger side oh it's a little bit hard to see but that's the black that's the black power cord that goes down you can see down there i've where i've zip tied cable tied the clear hose down here to that black conduit so i'll check it in six months and see that it's all still sound and all hunky dory basically i've run it up you can see it there i've run it up behind this thing this mounting bracket here i've run it you can see there i've run it behind there and basically just brought it up brought it up to here so that's the that's the rear diff breather hose coming from the back of the car to the engine bay and then over the other side over here on the passenger side as shown before there's the hose original mount going down I'll put a circle over it so you can see it down there in the dark probably just make it out but comes off the diff comes up I actually tried to run it up through this but it was too too hard feeding it through and it was a little bit shorter by going up through there so I've just run it up here uh, you can see it there coming all the way up and then this was the original cap off the original breather I don't know if it needs to be on there but I figured it's already on there so I might as well put that back on as well a little cap on there uh, now I bought as I said that was a five meter roll and that's all I've got left maybe 300 mil so always buy extra you're better to have leftovers like that that you throw in the bin than be that far short and have to go and buy another five meters and join it and all that sort of thing and that's the case with even your electrical cable um, that's the cable that goes back to our tow bar for our camper trailer the bc to dc charger in the trailer um, same thing i've got a bit of that left over um, but it's better to be over than under so yeah we need to give the old girl a wash so there you go guys another job done very simple modification well worth doing though for preventative maintenance i i did actually notice in my uh, one of the hoses, I can't remember now which one, but one of the original diff hoses that I took out, I did actually notice a bit of dirty, murky, muddy sludge just on the inside of the tube. So obviously it's sucked a little bit of in there at some stage. So I'm definitely going to do the diff oils in this. But when we bought this vehicle, it did have a, a warranty with it and we had to have it done by a licensed mechanic. And I, I'll have to check if they did that. Um, but yeah, simple modification, preventative maintenance, stop all that into your diff. Yeah you know 20 bucks worth and you know a couple of hours if it's difficult to get to so thanks a lot for watching be sure to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you're notified as soon as new content goes up and remember our motto guys stress less camp more cheers